All right, so this is day two of the 25 days of fencing for Christmas. I hope you're all having a good holiday month. Uh, this is something we don't get to see too much. It was uh, Tagliariol against Grumier, uh, Battle of Titans in 2009. So they were both. So Taggy was just off his gold medal, and Grumier uh, had not gone to the Olympics yet. So let's watch this bout. This should be a fun one. So this is uh, the last leg of a team bout. Uh, so three minutes. Grumier is down one point. Uh, and in 2009, this is in Bogota, uh, Colombia. And it looks like right, Taggy was still uh, pretty much on fire at that point. Grimia is the master of distance. Ooh, so re really, really good. So the distance here is really what we want to watch, right? So on the prep, Grimmy is like really big at looking at the hand, hand, and Taggy's already there. So let's see how Taggy controlled that. All right, they're still pretty far. You're if like if you want to sneak in, Taggy does a micro retreat. Forces him, so look at this, this is just so good. Micro retreat comes back in a little bit bigger. He knows Grimia is looking for this. Has his tip on target and immediately just gets higher and counterattacks him. Imagine out counterattacking Grimia. I didn't like that. I change the tempo, which is so good. Single light. So, this is where it's scary, right? So, Grimmy is obviously pressuring, like he, he's down in the team bout. But now, here. So this is a bit of French grip difference. But Matteo like can't do anything with his feet. So as soon as Grimmy is too close, right, he's going in. He did do like shows a little low real quick, gets it close, and then here it's just too late. It's really like hiding his blade, hiding the distance. This kid here is just MVP, changing the score. He's potentially doing uh, the the probably doing the shot clock as well. Well, at that point, we didn't have uh, any pass. I guess there's no passivity is going to happen here, but yeah. Ooh, that was a double. Man, these are insane. So pressuring. Mateo looks. Ah, right, his tip is still on. So, but Mateo, look at that. Like, just we can extrapolate that this tip is roughly here. Mateo just flicks it in. Just the mechanics of Grimia's lunges are always just so beautiful. Right, so boom, hit. Such a good push. So still just trailing down one, right? Team bout, no need to rush yet. You can always see, right, Grimia's always got his attention on the hand here. Show the score. I can't see the light. Double, that's what I thought. So let's look at why that worked. So this time, Mateo's hand is low. Good chance you're gonna get something in six if you go in. I see, so. So what Grimier went here, well he was, 
like what, what I think is right. He was kind of anticipating a blade action from Mateo, but he got close to nothing. Looks A to get his attention, then comes back top. But Mateo just kind of ignores and closes in. Oh, so let's look at the patience here, right? In, out. Oh, scared to death. Look, at even that. Right, so like he knows Mateo is stuck at the back, right? Tagliarelli is stuck at the back. And now he's like looking more frantically for the blade. Boom, this is just a little too close. And look at that. Boom. And then he goes in just a little bit. Look at that. One, like it's not a lot. Look, it's very subtle. One. Matteo thinks he can go in for the double. Gets hit. Man, that pressure and release. A lot of people might have just clapped in right away. Not this guy. Right, when you're pressuring, don't just think pressure, pressure, pressure. I mean, I'll, like you're pressuring, but like release a little bit, go in, take your time, set those up. Just because you're pressuring, it doesn't mean you should be the one attacking. Oh. Uh, Grumier did, got caught preparing, but let's look. Right, he wasn't ready at all with his tip. And so he goes in, goes back, goes back in with that cheater step, right? Boom. Oh my god. And you can see, like, the preparation from Mateo is almost instant. Knows Grumier is still ready. Again, the same come back into distance. Matteo sees it. Grimier wasn't expecting anything and just gets it. This was this was probably like one of the best flushes we're gonna see in a while. That was just like how the footwork went. Like it was just that big step prep. And same thing, no, just kidding, it's still a flesh. Ooh. And this is where things get a little friendly. Like obviously, like last minute, right? And we're in a team bout. Uh, so, Grimmy has got to go, right? So, let's slow it down. Release. Well, Grimmy is just missing, I guess, which is uncharacteristic. But, like, see, Mateo is just so good at seeing that on that step. Boom. Closes in. Oh, look how close that was. So Green is being very diligent. Double. Oh man, that like that slight lapse, those two points, obviously very expensive points. Beautiful. So like the, those changes in tempo, let's like, we can probably listen. Let's listen, uh, like just listen to Look at that, right? It goes from calm to boom. And Mateo's really good at surprising you. And then obviously Grumier, like if you can get, if you can get a guy like Grumier to bite, oh my God.
Uf. Really nice. Wow, just like this is just picture perfect six. And counterattack, flick, relief. Like this looks really big, and it kind of is, but look at how quickly. Release. Grimia thinks he can punish. Boom. He's already there. Just boom, boom. Like, just really good at knowing when he's good, safe. Ah, so now he's being a little too cocky. Right? Grimia, you can't give him an inch because he will just grab it. Bout ain't over. Wait, I want to butt. Let's see that. It was like strong blade action, right? Well, actually, so going in, tried to grab the blade. All right, so kind of like, kind of like how we saw the Yannick Borel video. Engage, disengage. It's a very good feeling, and especially Mateo. You know when he feels that six, he's gonna try to flick it in. I wouldn't say he's 100% prepped, but you know. I'm glad we get to watch the five pixels that are the French at the moment. Good double. Ooh. So my tail is just kind of closing out when Grimia is just coming in. Wow. Goes in for the counter, but they both block out with each other's bell guard. Sometimes you gotta try. Very surprised to not see at least a double there. Ooh. Alright, so you can't sleep on this guy. Like, you make one mistake. Alright, that was like a little too. Oh, I'm gonna get a double on Mateo. MVP child over here. No, 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 no. Go back up. Go back to the bout. Ooh, that was way close. Almost oppositioned it in. Wow, how did he get that in? Oh my god, this is like... Or like a great tip had been slightly sharper or the distance a little better, but he was already hit by then. So I guess like the overall, just Grimia was got a little too close. Mateo locks out really fast. And he's already hit by the time Grimia's even close. So unlikely that this bout... I doubt Grimmy, but like, see, like, man, even like, right, like, Mateo led up for like two and a half, like, mid 10 seconds at most, and the bout just came back to one point. But just, uh, yeah, watch these reflexes. It changes the tempo, right? It's just, I'm letting, like, I'm let your opponent fall asleep, and then just boom, boom, get your pair of repose, get your flushes in. Fantastic bout. So there's day two of your 25 days of fencing. I hope you're enjoying. If you like this kind of stuff, you know, maybe I can do it again next year. Maybe we can do some uh, better stuff. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and take care.